The Philadelphia Inquirer <laughs> looks at new technology that can force a train to slow down. The NTSB says it could have prevented Tuesday night's deadly Amtrak crash. That train was going more than 100 miles an hour as it reached a sharp curve. David Becknow at a Union Station in Los Angeles to show us how things might have been different. David, good morning. Charlie, good morning. Here in Los Angeles, tens of thousands of people use commuter trains every day. Positive train controller PTC is up and running. It basically allows a computer to take over the controls of a train if it detects engineer error that could lead to a potential danger. Authorities cite excessive speed as the possible cause of Tuesday's deadly derailment in Philadelphia. But if the speed was an engineer's mistake, that error could have been corrected by computer technology. With a functioning positive train control system, uh, as that train approached that curve, the technology would have actually slowed the train down uh, or brought it to a stop uh, in advance of it uh, potentially speeding. Uh, you know, through the, uh, the accident area. Positive train control, or PTC as it's known, uses GPS technology and ground sensors to determine whether to override the actions of a train engineer. R.T. McCarthy is director of operations for Metrolink in Southern California. He uses this simulator in Los Angeles to train his engineers on how to utilize PTC. Now it's telling me I have to break in 26 seconds. Now in this case, I'm not going to break. I'm going to let PTC do its job. Now, it's telling me in six seconds, if I don't do anything, PTC will take control. My speed is now 62 miles per hour. Now you hear the brakes come on. So PTC, no, no matter what I do. So PTC is stopping the train. Correct. And you can't stop it. It's, it's done. I, whatever I can do, the system is now in command. Implementing PTC nationwide was a congressional mandate in 2008. Political action taken after a Metrolink train collided head-on with another train in Los Angeles. 25 people died. The driver of that Metrolink train was text messaging. Had PTC existed then, would that crash have happened? No, it would not. PTC would have prevented that from occurring. Jeff Lusgarden is director of public affairs for Metrolink. So if a train operator makes a mistake, has a heart attack, or intentionally wants to cause a crash, PTC will always win. Yes. Here in the greater Los Angeles area, you guys have spent more than $200 million. Is it worth it? We think it's worth every penny. I mean, how can you put a price tag on people's lives? I am running the train with the system overlay watching my every move. It's like your boss over your shoulder. Correct. PTC doesn't just guard against human error. It can also react quickly to stop a train during a natural disaster like an earthquake. Bottom line, is PTC a lifesaver? Absolutely. Absolutely. We think it's the most important life-saving technology you'll see on, on the rail system for years to come. In the four months Metrolink has been using PTC here in Southern California, it's only activated once, and that is when a signal went red unexpectedly. PTC kicked into action and brought the train to a stop. It's estimated it could cause 10, cost $10 billion to implement PTC nationwide. And Gail, that is one reason Congress is considering delaying their mandate until 2020. The mandate was in 2008, did he say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems that whatever the cost, it's worth it. Whatever, whatever it takes to save more lives. Thank you, David, very much.